This week on Machinery PTV, a little bit of everything could be found on this Payne, Ohio auction. This low-houred Maxim 125 with loader is one of the highlights. A rare Keck Gonnerman is the centerpiece of a collection in Tennessee. And the need to head off problems during planting is driving technology. Your machinery is a serious investment. And at the heart of every farming operation, some call it a passion. We're Machinery Peak TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Peak, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Peak thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Hey folks, welcome to Machinery Pete TV. Now you might remember on one of our recent episodes we were in Northwest Missouri and we watched some very sharp Case Edge tractors and John Deere planting equipment sell. Well, we got the same recipe for you today, but now we're in Northwest Ohio. Some of the best farm ground around. We're here for the farm retirement auction for Jack and Renee Cox. And before we watch this awesome machinery sell, we got to go back to the studio, catch up on the latest farm equipment news. All right, thanks, Craig. The U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement appears to be moving another step forward. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is pushing legislators to quickly approve the deal. The Reuters is reporting the opposition party wants to study that deal. Canada is the only country that still needs to approve it. President Trump plans to sign that agreement for the U.S. after it was approved in the Senate last week. Equipment maker Agco launching into the planter market this week, introducing its first ever planter. Tyne Morgan joins us now from Peoria, Illinois. And Tyne, Agco has come up with what they think is the perfect planting design. Thanks, Clinton. Yeah, Fint unveiling its first ever planter. And with it being the first, they said they were able to engineer it for basically a blank canvas or a blank sheet of paper. And in doing so, they say they were able to create a planter that really addresses some pain points producers have when planting. We moved the toolbar back, but then there's also the problem that, you know, somehow this has got to match the ground as it goes up and over. We're a long ways back from behind the bars, and so that's where that contouring toolbar came in. And really, that's, that, was the, that was just really the heartbeat that started this all out. And what this does for us is it allows us to sense on the rows uh, what, what, where the parallel linkage is in, can, in respect to the row unit. And we're able to automatically adjust that to ensure that the row unit is at the optimal position to plant that seed. So you're getting that even emergence every time. Now, Clinton, Agco, and Fent tell me they had two main goals with designing this planter. One, eliminate farmers' stress, and two, help farmers make more money. Reporting from Peoria, Illinois, I'm Tyne Morgan. All right, thanks, Tyne. That's it for news. Now let's check on some recent auction prices from around the country. Now back to Machinery P. Hang in there with us, folks. You're not going to want to miss this loader tractor, a 2014 Case Maxim 125, only 875 hours on it. Every good season starts with one great deal. Get yours today with Farm Hard Rewards, going on now at your local certified Firestone Ag tire dealer. Stop in before April 30th and buy two or more eligible Firestone Ag radial tires for one instant discount. More details at FirestoneAg.com. Hey folks, I'm here with Ritter Cox, Schrader Real Estate and Auction. Now Ritter, you farm yourself as well as the being in the auction business, correct? Yeah, that's correct. That's a, a love of mine, and so I do farm with my son, Corey, and we do farm, so I get a taste of what these guys uh, that buy our, our equipment uh, deal with every day, yes. 
So here in 2019, Northeast Indiana, Northwest Ohio, boy, you guys have had some challenges. Yeah, not only this area, but I think uh, the whole country did challenges with the year, and it was a very challenging year, and we started there in late June, and uh, kind of fought it and fought it, and uh, September is what kind of saved some of the crops that we did have, and uh, it was a struggle year, and, and guys equipped, uh, I guess the American farmer did show that when you're against the wall, can come out and uh, you respond to that. You guys have been having quite a few sales, and boy, the pricing has been strong on the good used equipment. Is that kind of what you've been seeing? Absolutely, and, and we've been fortunate. The sales we've been having, retirement sales, and the equipment has been pretty clean, and. Uh, uh, low hour that we've been selling and, and we're going to be continue selling here for a few uh, weeks here. Uh, so I think again that equipment's in demand. We talked about before, new cost keeps kind of going up. So if guys can get used equipment into the inventory, that's what they're after and they're willing to pay top dollar for good used equipment. Well yesterday before the auction folks, we were out here on the farm site and I was teasing the owner Jack Cox. He had his 2014 Maxim 125. Uh, he was doing some work around the farm worth, and I said, Jack, you got to be careful. You're going to push this baby up over $900. I think it's got $875. But uh, the last year, last two years at auction, the five highest maximum 125s I've seen with loader from 62.5 to Folks, John Deere made the 1770 uh, planter model a lot of years. Now, just in the last year at auction, I've seen seven 1770 12 row 30 inches sold from 10,000 to 17.5, the older models. But just two weeks ago, right in this area of Northwest Ohio, we saw a really sharp 2013 model, 1770 12 row with 2,000 acres on it, go for 54,000 bucks. 35,000 35 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $35,000 $
Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com. About 3.30 in the afternoon, um, Lloyd had called and said he's having trouble with his auto steer working on his tractor. Missouri farmer Lloyd Chapman was planting when something went awry. He had a code on his tractor that was causing the auto steer not to work. During the phone call, I looked up the address or the code to see what was wrong and he had a valve sticking on his auto steer. And through a little bit of research, took a real quick look up DTAC and found a, a solution for that problem. So whenever they were able to remotely get into that display and tell you exactly what was wrong with your equipment, what went through your mind as he's walking you through step by step and telling you how to diagnose the problem? I didn't believe they could do it, but it, I didn't have to push in probably a couple dozen numbers and I, push accept, and they went to work. An instant fix that proved to the Chapmans change can be beneficial as technology continues to soar to new heights. Ever in your lifetime, did you think that the dealership would have the capability to fix it remotely? You never would believe it, really. It's, it's amazing what they can do. Welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. This week, we're visiting the Days Gone By Museum in Portland, Tennessee. This museum has it all, including this 1936 Keck Gonerman that were only about 200 units built in the small town of Mount Vernon, Indiana. What we got here is a uh, 1936 Keck Gonerman. It's, it's a Model N. The, the purpose is it was a big plow, but uh, most people that bought them, it ended up doing belt work. Uh, it's running sawmills or thrashers and stuff like that. Kind of a rare tractor. Uh, I think he built 210 of them. And uh, as far as we know, I think there's still 190 spoken for. Still might be some out in the bushes somewhere. I had a, a friend in Illinois that had a buddy that was kind of downsizing. I was looking for a Model N, and they're, like I say, there's just 190 of them, so they, you don't get many chances to get one bought. So when I heard about this, when I went up and looked at it and cranked it up and ran it around, so we decided to bring her home. We had to work on the mag a little bit, and uh, other than that, she runs good. These things are notorious about, they steer hard when they sit and steal, and we gotta go in there and rebushing it, and, uh, but other than that, the tractor's pretty well a good, you know, it's a good tractor. The thing about this old gal, she was, of course, like all of them, they cranked on gas and they ran on kerosene in the day. And so uh, we put this thing on the mill just to see what it might do, sawmill, and we put five gallons of gas in it, by the time we got the log squared off and we pulled one line, we was out of gas. <laughs> so <laughs> back in the day, you know, the kerosene might have been six or seven cents a gallon. And uh, so anyway, uh, we just show it now. We don't, we don't try to really work it no more. Jack, our feature item on the sale today, boy, beautiful 2008 Magnum 335. You bought this also from Redline, did you say? Bought this from Redline Equipment. Okay, not many hours on it. No, huh? I uh, had two of them at one time, and this one kind of got left 
by the wayside. Okay. And then the only thing I've really done, really, I plowed with it one year, nine bottom plow. I pulled okay. with it, and then since then it's been on the anhydrous applicator and grain cart. How many bottom plow did you say? Nine bottom. Nine, nine bottom. 18. Nine 18, nice. So what did you like about this 335? Uh, easy to get around, had a lot of power. Uh, it actually has more power than the old one had. Okay. And uh, it's just been a good tractor. It's easy riding. Nine, 10. 20, 1, 20, 30, 1, 20, 1, 20, 30, 1, 20, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 137,000. Man, some pretty hot bidding there on our feature item, folks. The 2008 Case H Magnum 335 with 1,293 hours on it sells for 138,000 bucks. Coming into the sale today, the highest one I'd seen this year, very similar, an 09 model, 1,222 hours on it, so three months ago, 114. Well, folks, I'm calling 2019 the year of the tracks. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh, easy to understand why, given the very wet conditions, the last two harvests, plus planting 2019, super wet. Uh, but it's not just used track tractors that have been hot. Basically, any kind of used equipment on tracks with low hours, good shape, been a ton of demand out there. So let's start our examples with a combine. This 2018 John Deere S790 on tracks, 354 engine hours on it. This thing sold December 12, 2019 on an online dealer auction in central Minnesota, $396,000. Highest auction price I've ever seen on a combine anywhere ever. Now, used skid steers on tracks have also been hot. Here's a picture of a 2016 Caterpillar 299D2, 320 hours on it. This sold on an auction January 11, 2020 in Northeast Texas, went for $70,000, very strong price. And if we back up just a couple months before that, let's go to September 24th, 2019 farm auction, North Central Oklahoma. This 2018 John Deere 333G, 42 hours on it, sold for $75,000. And that is the second highest auction price I've ever seen on any skid steer. Now on December 19th, 2019, I went down to Hamilton, Illinois to cover day one of Sullivan Auctioneer's huge three-day absolute auction. And one of the items I was most interested in was this planter, a 2017 John Deere 1775 NT 24030 inch on tracks, just over 14,000 acres on it, sold for $207,500. Now I asked Matt Sullivan what they were thinking going in, what they were hoping for, and he said, Pete, we were hoping it'd get up to 200. And again, it went for 2075. Tractors. Here's a picture of a 2012 Challenger MT865C, 490 hours on it, sold for $244,000 on an October 31st, 2019 auction in East Central South Dakota, highest auction price in over seven years on an MT865C. Well, it was really a treat, folks, to be here today for the farm retirement auction for Jack and Renee Cox, some of the nicest, cleanest machinery I've seen, almost all one owner. And I tell you, the price is very strong, as they should be for this kind of quality equipment. So thanks for joining us on Machinery PTV this week from Payne, Ohio. We'll see you back here next week.
Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com.